Hey everybody, this is Walter with Access Electric, and today I wanted to talk to you about Ohm's Law. In particular, I wanted to talk to you about the relationship between power and voltage and power and resistance. I'm also going to briefly explain the relationship between amperage and voltage and amperage and resistance. And the reason for that is because of the phrase, power is directly proportional to the square of the voltage. Huh? What exactly does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about it and I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain that concept to you on this episode of Access to Power. So here, if you look at my screen, I have here power is directly proportional to the square of the voltage. And in order for me to kind of explain that, uh, I want to take you through a couple of things. So power, it is directly proportional to the square of the voltage. It's also inversely proportional to the resistance. Uh, let me explain an easier, an easier formula. I equals E over R. I, or amperage, is directly proportional to voltage. It's also inversely proportional to resistance. Here, let me show you this circuit. This circuit on my screen, I have two circuits here. I have a circuit with two 1000 ohm resistors and a six volt DC power supply. I also have a circuit with two 2000 ohm resistors and a six volt DC power supply. So the only difference in these two circuits is that the top circuit has twice as much resistance as the bottom circuit. Now let me turn the power on the bottom circuit and you can see that six volt power supply will push about three milliamps through that 2000 ohms of resistance. Now, what happens with 4000 ohms of resistance? You can see that double the resistance, if I double the resistance, I get half the, volt, the amperage because amperage is inversely proportional to the resistance. So since I doubled the resistance, I got half the amperage. Now, amperage is also directly proportional to the voltage. So if I took my top circuit here and I took my voltage source and I double it. So if you notice right now, I had three ohms, I had 1.5 milliamps of resistance. So if I took my, my power supply and I took it to 12 volts, I would double my amperage or get right back to my three milliamps of resistance, even though I'm pushing it through 4,000 4, uh, ohms of resistance. I, I got my three milliamps of current. So amperage is directly proportional to the voltage. If I double the voltage, I double the amperage. So with that in mind, let's look at this formula. P equals E squared over R. P is directly proportional to the square of the voltage. Let me bring up a chart. And here in this chart, I have two circuits. Uh, they're both 240 volts. They both have 20 milliamps or actually 20 ohms of resistance. And they're both consuming about 12 amps of power. And they're both producing 2,880 watts of work. So now if I took the voltage on this, on one of these, so I'll take the left-hand side and I'll have the voltage. I cut the voltage in half, but my wattage got reduced by four times. So since power is directly proportional to the square of the voltage, if I cut the voltage in half, I will affect the power by four times. I'll get four times less work out of this circuit, even though the, the voltage is only cut in half. Now, why is this important? This is really important because if you have a 240 volt system, actually you have a 240 volt load, a, a, a motor, an oven with a heating element that's rated at 240 volts. And if you only have a 208 volt system, it will work. You can hook up the, that motor, you can hook up that heating element, it will work. But remember, any change in the voltage makes a dramatic effect on the amount of work 
that can be performed. So here, I'll change this 120 volt circuit back to a 208, oh, to a 208 volt circuit. And you can see if I have a motor that's rated at 240 volt and I connect it to a 208 volt system, I'm only going to get about 75% of the work performed out of that motor. Now, that might work just fine if the motor is so oversized that I can lose 25% of the efficiency of that motor, then it'll work. It won't be, won't be that dramatic. But if I have an oven with a heating element that's that I need to get the heat out of that oven and I hook it up on a bit in a building with 208 volts of power, I'm only going to get 75% of the work out of that heating element. And that might make a dramatic effect on the ability of that oven to do what I needed to do. So if, uh, if you change the voltage, just remember you will dramatically affect the amount of work that can be performed by the equipment that you have if it's rated at a higher voltage. So there you have it. That's why it's so important. Remember, remember these formulas, wattage is directly proportional to the square of the voltage. So if you double the voltage, you quadruple the wattage. If you have the voltage, you cut the wattage by four times. So hope you enjoyed these videos. If you like this channel, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified whenever we put out a new video. And until the next video, have a great day.